This is phase two in the Road to Safe Sport Challenge Athletes Foundation Injury Prevention Protocol. Before starting this phase, please watch the phase one video and make sure you are able to perform all the shoulder exercises with the correct form. Remember, a good rule of thumb is you can perform the shoulder exercises 20 times without pain or too much fatigue. In this phase, we will build on the shoulder and core stability exercises from phase one. We have provided modifications and games and activities. Our goal in these videos is to provide education and resources to help in strength training and injury prevention. It is important to diversify sports, activity, and play throughout the year. A good rule of thumb is not to train a specific sport for more hours per week than the age of the child. It is also important to not train for a specific sport for more than eight months out of a year. These exercises should be performed one to two times a week. Other days should be used for active play and a variety of sport and activity. To do this first exercise, Find a wall that has plenty of space and grab a small ball, a towel, or pillowcase. For this, you can sit or stand, whichever is most comfortable for you. With a straight arm, place your hand against the wall to start. Once you're ready, Put your object, whatever that may be, whether it's a pillowcase, towel, or ball, place that underneath the palm of your hand. Now, slightly press down on the object. Take a second and feel the muscles around your shoulder blades working. You should be able to feel them tightening up as you hold the object against the wall with your hand. While maintaining the slight pressure so your object does not fall to the ground, try spelling your name. It doesn't matter how big or small you write each letter. You just want to make sure the muscles around your shoulder blades are still activated and working. The bigger the letter, the harder your muscles are going to work. Remember, if you need to pause the route to take a second to make sure your muscles are still engaged, you can. Once you get pretty good at writing your name, you can turn this into a game. See if you can write the alphabet or a line from your favorite book. If you have spelling words from school, try writing them out on the wall to memorize them. Or, if you've got other people with you, ask them to give you a picture and see if you can draw it on the wall like Pictionary. Use your creativity and have fun with it. Pause the video and try the exercises. Make sure the muscles around your shoulder blades are engaged and turned on. Remember to stand up straight, engage your core muscles, bring your belly button to your back, and keep your shoulders relaxed. Try not to let your shoulder move through the entirety of the exercise. Start by writing your name. Next, write the alphabet from letters A to M. Now, do it as fast as possible. Make sure to pause and rest for one to two minutes and shake out your arm between each time you do this. The position for this exercise will involve you being on your hands and knees on the floor, like you're crawling. If you are unable to get into a crawling position, try getting on your stomach and on your elbows. Move like a snake. Before you begin, find a soft surface like carpet or use a yoga or gymnastics mat. Get in the starting position with your arms straight 
and your knees bent or on your stomach and elbows. This will be your resting position. Like your shoulder exercises, we want you to carefully squeeze your shoulder blades together, back and then in, then return to your starting position. Once you get good at this, add a stable object like a tissue box and place this object between your shoulder blades. Do your squeezes again and make sure to not let the object move. Once you feel comfortable, next, try to carefully crawl forward. Like before, try not to let the object on your back move. The focus is to take small, slow steps. To make things harder, go at a faster pace. Now pause the video and try the exercise. Do the shoulder squeezes two sets of 12 times. Make sure your shoulders are going back and in. Have someone place a hand in between your shoulder blades for practice. Have a family member or friend make you an obstacle course. Make this challenging by adding turns or timing yourself to finish the obstacle course as fast as possible. An idea for the obstacle course is to place objects in a circle around you. Have someone call out the name of a certain object and find a way to move to it as fast as possible. Touch the object and move on to the next. To make things more challenging, complete the obstacle course as fast as you can, or try to go the farthest distance or touch the most objects in 30 seconds. After you are able to perform the wall exercises from letters A to M with accuracy and relative ease, you can progress to phase three. All games and activities can be revisited for exercise or play.